Hi, this is Matteo Urbanati, the founder and creator of FraserTools.com, the world's number one portal specialized in router bits and in the milling of wood and derivative wood products, and the founder and creator of the Fraser Academy, the first online training school on wood and derivative wood products. In this short but interesting video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut polycarbonate and get a polished finish following a simple, complete, and foolproof procedure. This technique can also be used for plexiglass and other similar plastic materials. We're going to use our brand new Plexitop router bit, thanks to its lap and balance cutting edge with an extra half helix, compared to conventional bits used to cut plastic i.e. Z equals one plus half. It allows you to make an ultra precise and clean cut with polished edges. Mark my words, along with our Plexi Top, we are also going to use plaster, our exclusive revolutionary fluid that prevents plastics from melting and increases smoothness during milling operations, thanks to its special coconut scenting cooling complex. It is also completely environmentally friendly. Plaster is also excellent when you are hand polishing plastic parts. But let's get down to the routing process. We're going to cut and polish a 6mm sheet of polycarbonate with our new 6mm Plexitop router bit, number A30-060-6D. First, we set the machining parameters on the CNC using the settings, available once you've registered and completed your purchase. In the dedicated section of the FraserTools.com portal, to cut our sheet one pass is going to be enough. Although we must remember to leave uncut at least one-tenth of the final size of the template, it is important to hold the material very well in place Secure the sheet on your work table so that it does not vibrate. Specifically for this reason, the CNC pantograph is provided with suction cups that, in this case, have been deliberately placed only in certain parts of the piece. In this way, if there's any significant increase in vibrations, you'll hear a clear noise difference. If you notice any sound variation like this, you'll know that you must immediately intervene to reduce the vibrations. As a matter of fact, when they are too much, they can cause poor finish and quite possibly sheet or tool breakage. We apply plaster on the cutting surface to be even more sure that our polycarbonate sheet will not melt or clog the edges of the router bit. Although with Plexitop, it is almost impossible. After this first cutting phase, which we can also call roughing out phase, it is necessary to go over the same line again, making a white cut as we like to call it. The router bit is going to be engaged with its entire cutting height, and it is only going to clean up any rough edge left by the previous cut. Our CNC pantograph removes 0.05 millimeters, so I suggest that you choose the most appropriate settings according to the degree of precision of your machine. For the white pass, we increase the spindle speed to the maximum without exceeding 24,000 RPM and proceed following a simple but fundamental rule. In our case, we set the RPM to 24,000 and the feed rate to 2.4 meters per minute. If your CNC pantograph reaches 20,000 RPM, the feed rate will be 2 meters per minute and so on.
I've just revealed to you the method that professionals use to cut polycarbonate, plexiglass, and other equivalent plastics with a polished finish, following a simple, complete, and foolproof procedure. If your router bit is a Frasier, it means security, thanks to the special 100% satisfied or refunded guarantee. If you like this video and want more practical and effective advice in the world of milling, then the Frasier Academy is the place for you. It is the best resource for online training on router bits and on the milling of wood dedicated to hobbyists and crafters. Now you can finally become skilled at using router bits. If you want to know more about all the robust Frasier router bits and all the accessories used in this video, which are the key to achieve a perfect result and to avoid any waste of time and any loss of enthusiasm trying to recreate a project with a router bit that lacks precision and burns the wood. Check out our website www.frasiertools.com. It's the world's number one online megastore dedicated to router bits and to the milling of wood and derivative wood products. Bye for now, Mateo.